Hose with feelings. Hose with feelings. Hose with feelings. Hose with feelings. With Carolina Teresa and Melissa Rich. You're also a Virgo. That's right. There's so dab. much mm-hmm. of us in you, wow. Melissa. Wow. Well, there first of all, so we've never much. had another Melissa on the podcast. Which no is way, incredible. really? Yeah. Crazy. Oh my god. Double really? Virgo. Do you? Yeah. Like double us. Virgo. Double Virgo. I don't think Capricorn Moon. Capricorn Moon. Um, mm-hmm. Wow, that's crazy. That is crazy. Really good. That's I would how not you be my friend. What's my yeah. moon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pisces. And I'm Taurus. Oh. I always forget what my moon is. I do and not. You always I remember. It really shows up, I think. You know, d- Lucy Goosey, Water. Yeah. Who, me? Pisces? Yes, for sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah it's yeah, like yeah, a yeah. nurturing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know. Is Rihanna. that true? Yeah. Um, okay. That's f- So, double Virgo. Double Virgo. Named Melissa. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Also, a, 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 comes from a gaggle of women. How many sisters? Two sisters. Two sisters. Older, How younger. many sisters? Both. I'm a middle child. Middle child. Yeah. Older child. Older child. Older three child sisters. Three sisters. Yeah. yeah. You're three sisters? I'm three sisters. That's magical. That is my And your name's mm-hmm. Alyssa. There's wow. so much there. Yeah, that's crazy. Also, Wait, and Guatemalan. Half Guatemalan. Half Guatemalan. Half Guatemalan. Ah! Half Guatemalan. No, <laughs> I pretended. Yeah, I pretended. We were in Guatemala. I been. I been. That's a So kind of. And I was like, I love this place. Everyone looks like me. Everyone looks she like me. Like, I look, I I look like I'm I look like I'm Everyone is like, five feet tall, has brown hair. I'm looking at yeah. eye level with everyone. If you told me, I loved it. I She's like, like you don't you look do Guatemalan. Not look like- <laughs> I was I'm like, these are my sisters. I was you like, know. I am Guatemalan and I don't look Guatemalan. You are not Guatemalan that is and you don't look Guatemalan. <laughs> I loved Guatemala. Yeah. yeah. I, I haven't really been in I haven't a been gorgeous in years. time. Yeah. You know, I was telling my mom that you're going to be on the podcast. Oh, really? And she was like, does she go to Guatemala? I wish. And I said, but you said you're going in September. I'm going in September. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. And I told my mother mm-hmm. that. She said, oh, she's mm-hmm. going to have so much fun. I'm yeah. going to have so much fun. Yeah. yeah. Volcanoes. It's crazy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. History. Incredible. <laughs> What's your other side? Um, Colombian. Mm-hmm. 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 Fun. Yeah. That's a great combo. A little bit of maíz and a little bit of cocaína. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> totally. Um, I want to talk really quick about Selena because, oh yeah, though I am not uh, technically Latina, mm-hmm. I did live in San Antonio, Texas when the Selena movie came out. Oh my god! So it really was formative for me. Uh, the J Lo of it all. Uh, I really, I love uh, my our delusional queen. Ooh. Our delusional queen. Yeah, she inspires and me. Has a book. Okay, explain what your yeah, sorry. Selena book is about. So my Selena book is about a poet named Melissa who brings Selena back to life through a seance and there are disastrous consequences as you and what's the name incredible. of the book it's called dreaming of you dreaming of you yeah how cute is that it's also perfect. we yeah. didn't say this but melissa is an authoress well why don't you do oh. a full intro do a full intro i've never heard authoress that's really good mm-hmm. i'm gonna start calling myself an authoress, authoress. that's yeah. really good yeah that's gorgeous mm-hmm. that's i'm a journalist i'm a journalist, it, journalist. but journalist. i do like authoress yeah <laughs> authoress okay do a little i'm intro. an actress mm-hmm. And a committee end. Um, okay, so our guest today, I was doing it, is a Virgo. Yeah. A double, right, Virgo. double Virgo. Her name is Melissa. Mm-hmm. She is half Guatemalan like me. She's got three sisters like Melissa Melissa. I don't know how we're gonna navigate the Melissa ing of it really all. Hard. <laughs> she is an authoress. She's written two novels. Oh my goodness. She's also a poet. Yeah. And she's a diva queen and mm-hmm. a gorgeous, gorgeous girl. Oh my god, thank you. Thank you. Thank I you love for that it so in- much. Intro. And I also, one thing I will say is that I feel like what a lot of people don't know, and I feel like it's not widely known, is that Guatemalan women are crazy. Absolutely unhinged. We are absolutely mm-hmm. unhinged. Yeah. Like we, the kind of mothers that we have. Oh, yeah. But I mean, and it's like all Latina moms will give it to you, but there's mm-hmm. something about a, about a Guatemalan bitch. Yeah. We I are crazy girlfriends. Mm-hmm. Crazy wives. Mm-hmm. Crazy moms. Yeah, there's no logic. There's no crazy like... Sisters. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like most people operate like... You know, I'm a girlfriend. And mm-hmm. then Guatemalans are like, I'm a girlfriend. Yeah. You know, I'm that. doing hand doing hand acting. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I don't know. There's there's a scrappiness to us. Yes. It's something. It's very but we're crazy. It's very much mm-hmm. something. We are very crazy. Yeah. And it's beautiful. Mm-hmm. It's very beautiful. I really respond I'm proud. to it. I love it. She yeah, well, love I'm telling you, Melissa it. could be a part of my family. Yeah. With the, the drama, like like. with, with how crazy and dramatic she is. Yeah. Oh my goodness. She is my mother's daughter in some ways. I, in many yeah. ways. And I think Sandra clocks it as well. She does I clock it. Like, Mommy, I they, love you. She, she enjoys you. Yeah. She really I does. I really enjoy her as well. <laughs> yeah, she's a really, really fun time. <laughs> she really is. 
<laughs> and it was nice when we were away because like obviously like I fight with my mom all the time. We're there with your mom. You're fighting with your mom. And it was really nice mm -hmm. to be on the outside of it and to be able to be like, no, I see what you're doing. And yeah. I would be doing that as well. But don't do that. You know what I mean? She'd because, be like, don't like, get mad at her. She, because like I saw like, I'm like she's driving me fucking nuts. I know. But like I saw what I get mad at with my mom, which is like their anxiety. Yes. You don't want your mom to be anxious. Yes. Like, don't put that shit on me. Don't do it. But yeah, I, yeah, yeah. And I saw it happening and I was just like, stay back. Right. Stay back. But it's hard when you're the it's your mom oh, yeah. the moment. Yeah. Can I tell you what I did? What? I got my mom to take CBD finally. Oh my God. She's I've been trying to, knee I'm pain. trying to get my mom to She's take CBD. She's been doing my CBD on well. the knee, uh -huh. like the oil. Mm -hmm. And I finally got her to, because I went to the doctor with her and the doctor told her, it's fine. It's good for you. It's going to help with your mm -hmm. pain in your knee. So we went, we bought the CBD right away. Yeah. Me, my mom and my dad. I get her the CBD. I didn't look at the ingredients. It's got coconut oil in it. She is allergic to coconut no, oil. Oh no. So she's literally oh, throwing no. up. And like sick from taking the thing. And then she's Clearly like, not. she's like, I'm not blaming you, but I was so sick. <laughs> These drugs oh you gave God. me. You're getting the drugs. It's not, she understands that it's not the CBD. Yeah. She understands that it's the coconut oil. But she, I think that gave her anxiety. That happened uh -huh. yesterday, today. Yeah. She's being very anxious on the phone with me and my sister. And yeah. we're both just oh like, chill out. Yeah. Because she has her knee injury and then she was poisoned. Yeah. yeah. So, that. and Carolina does have a track record with, um, you know. With poisoning your friends? Yeah. No, 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 Usually no, no, with no, no, weed. No, 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 no. Yeah. She's given people edibles. Oh, oh my God. God. Well, two of those were by mistake. Okay, that's my worst fear. And those people took those <laughs> yes, edibles. delicious. I know. In fact, all of those people took the edibles without asking without permission, and without actually. knowing what it was. Okay. Yeah. I'm the so, weirdo yeah. who's always like, I'm sorry, these are normal cookies, right? Mm -hmm. And and you have to ask because sometimes. Why do you it's not? It's a valid question. I, I don't. I don't. I'm, I get too anxious. But you smoke weed. I get that. I don't. You don't I know smoke I look weed. like I do, but I don't. You do look like <laughs> yeah. you smoke weed. Also, we were at Artie's house the other day and I thought we were all smoking no, weed, no, no. but maybe it was just I'm me and Danielle. Like, no, thank you. But that's oh. a really um, amazing gift to have. Like, you know, when sober people, you never notice that they're sober. Or yeah. Like, mm. you know, you're, you can just well, hang and be wine. around I was it. drinking. I was, yeah, I was drunk. I think. You yeah. can be like, you know, you can not make a big deal about it. Yeah. And mm. be around high people and not, you know. Right. Engine. Right. And you know I'd be like, I, mean? I have to get up at 6 a.m. actually for one of my runs or something. Totally. Sober people love doing that. They sure Yeah. Do. Not my yeah. sober friends. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know. I think there's a performativeness to some people sober. Sober. Yeah. Or there not smoking yeah. weed or not whatever. Mm -hmm. And I was just complimenting you for not. Okay. Thank tell you. us about your next book. The other book. Came out. My next this book sounds amazing. is about a bunch of crazy Guatemalan women. Um, it's about a Guatemalan grandmother at the end of the world and how her three... That's um, made for yeah. you. <laughs> Maybe three Carolyn's obsessed I think with like the apocalypse. Is. Obsessed with the apocalypse. Oh, it's very apocalyptic. Both of our phones yeah. are it's very zombie. Up. Who's calling? I keep doing. Oh, you're getting. A, That's you. Three-way FaceTime. Oh, I'm turning no, it off. Mary, what if the apocalypse Kate. is happening now? Because, it could be. Uh, yeah. I always mm -hmm. think that. Yeah. Babe, when I tell you the amount of times I've woken up in the morning and just been like, <gasps> I know. I never think about it. Never crosses my mind. I think mind. about yeah. it too much. Yeah, really? I think about it too much because I want to survive. Me too. Yeah, I feel like a lot of my friends are like, I'd, I'll rather, just I'd rather just die fast. I'd rather just start. I'm not you know? saying, like, I'll fight. I'll yeah. fight. But I'm saying like, to what end? Yeah. What? So I can be like in a crazy, I don't know. Do you want to see it? Do, I, I do. One, I, I want to see well, it. But yeah, two, FOMO. I'm like, it is important yeah, for, you, for us to go on. Exactly. And to create a new world. Right. And yeah. I want to be there for that because it could be a I better know. world. I think totally. when I think about you having, Walking Dead? I, I watched, so my book was a little inspired by the, okay, so I had this poem called How to Survive the Zombie Apocalypse as an 83-year-old Guatemalan grandmother. Send this oh to me. God. I will. And I wrote it after watching a lot of The Walking Dead 10 years <sighs> ago. Mm -hmm. And then I wrote this book. Anyway, so she's surviving the zombie apocalypse and it, well, it's not really a zombie apocalypse. It's an apocalypse. You're trying to figure out like how the world is ending. And then it goes back a year and you see how our three American loser granddaughters um, started it. And oh, it's like, wow. yeah, I yeah, love that. Mm -hmm. family drama. I love that. Mm -hmm. Damn, I mean, that's probably a really good book. I need to read thank it. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for thinking. Yeah, that. we will definitely be reading. Yeah. It. Book club. It's on audiobook too. You can listen to me read it. Oh, no, I, I like to read. That. I don't okay. like to listen I to it. I love yeah. audiobooks. Yeah. Are you kidding? It's a performance. It's so nice. Yeah. It really has been helping me like wake up in the morning. Mm -hmm. Like what I've been doing, I've been like, if I don't want to get out of bed, I'll like put on an audiobook or something like that. I'll go like do dishes or something oh, yeah. to like kind of settle in. That's really Maybe nice. Maybe I'll to make do. a celery juice if I'm feeling crazy. 
but audiobooks have been like very helpful for me to like wake up the mind. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Um, that's so exciting. Okay. How did you write two books? Yeah. I know that's a crazy question, but like that's it's a good question. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like I I feel like I'm bad at a lot of stuff, but I'm I think I'm good at writing. And so good. I just am like, I'm just gonna I'm gonna do this. And I think it was my Capricorn moon. Yeah. Um, I think I'm like, okay, so Virgo, but do people like not expect you to be Virgos? Like, yes. yeah, I think I feel like I'm not like, I don't have the like serial killer accountant vibes of a Virgo. Mm -hmm. It's more like Amy Winehouse Virgo. Like, yes, mm, which we don't exactly. talk about enough, mm -hmm. but like chaotic, so queen queen of messy Virgos. <laughs> yeah. And I will say this, um, Amy Winehouse asked my British boyfriend out on a date <gasps> in the early 2000s. She was just getting famous. And what oh a different God. path it would have been. Oh and that is a God. cancer man who- Cancers you know, and Virgos. Exactly. Oh my God. Let me tell you Virgos something. need the cancer. They do. I don't want to put Big this time. kind of pressure on Frank, but had he, he gone on the date with Wait, her- easy. And his name we is would Frank? Still have Frank. And his name is Frank. Oh my and God. Would, I'm, sorry, I'm just saying we would still have Amy. Uh, 100%. Wow. I sometimes would say that to him and he's like, don't put Frank. that pressure on but him. But he had a girlfriend. He had Wait, a girlfriend. That's he had a girlfriend. Crazy. Which is kind of crazy. I'm like, yeah. you oh my done god, that. Yeah. I know it's pretty wild. But that is a Virgo genre that I think is yeah. often overlooked. Yeah. Chaotic but obsessive. Like she really obsessive. wanted to make like the perfect song, you know. Oh, wow. And, and then like, everything else was just man. like crazy. Yeah, exactly. Get that yeah. man, and also and have like that perfect love. Exactly. Have the perfect love, and you know, that. commitment mm -hmm. to good things and bad things. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's kind of crazy. I really relate. Yeah. Can we talk about how much we love? Like, I think Virgos, the way that Virgos love is so intense and it's yeah. layered. Mm -hmm. It's layered because, you know, my, uh, you know, Spike. Spike's partner is also a Virgo. They are two really? Virgos I in a relationship. I am two <gasps> Virgos in a relationship. Really? And it's so layered and specific. And one of the most interesting things that Spike told me was that how they... They know their partner uh -huh. and I know my partner, but our partners also know us. And so it's really two people Whoa. being like, oh, I know you. And then the other <laughs> person's like, no, 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 I know you. Right. And in a way, it's like we're very intuitive with each other. Right. And I, sometimes I'm like a dog with a bone because my <laughs> one won't 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 open up. All the oh, time. Yeah. It's not easy like to open up. Virgo. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Quiet is, one. Yeah. Like close like a clam. Uh, and I, if I get a, a <laughs> sniff of something with him, I, I'm like a dog. With, I'm like. <laughs> do you like that he's quiet? You kind of is like you're like. I think I do. I will. Like, yeah. My first instinct funny. was to say no to you. Uh -huh. But truthfully, it's like I literally love him so much well, and I married him. So obviously I do like it. Right. And because his one liners it's so like, he'll just throw something out and it's so <laughs> it funny. It is so yeah. funny. Because he's like waiting for the waiting. moment. Yeah. And then yeah, and he's, he's always listening. He's always listening. I'm listening. never listening. <laughs> yeah. I'm fifty percent listening. And he's a hundred percent listening. Yeah. yeah. So he'll tell Gathering me something. Information. Mm -hmm. Gathering information. Mean, he'll tell Evidence. me something. I'll be like, I was there. I didn't see that. I didn't know that. And he's like, Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He is truly an observer. Wow. Yeah. That's beautiful. And that is a true Virgo. That's a trait, good Virgo. Which I think we mm -hmm. are observing, but we're too like, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm observing, but I'm also like. <laughs> I know I'm we really spacey ADD. but I, I remember things that like I shouldn't and that's why I'm like a poet you know where I'm like Ooh, oh like yes. also a poet we didn't say poetry oh, yeah, yeah. Poet. poetry mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. really interesting yeah. to me mm -hmm. I guess what's your writing process maybe for both for yeah a book you're sitting down obviously the a poems million just times come, and to you? Poems come to you I feel like poems are more like romantic vibes I'm drunk in an uber and I'm like I gotta mm. get a, a thought down on my phone mm. and I'm like that that was amazing and mm. this could only happen on the full moon blah mm. blah and I a book it. you have to be like more mechanical about it mm. and you have to like sit down every day and you have to think about your word count and like the fucking structure there's all these rules to it um but I'm a Virgo so I kind of like a rule I kind of like a constraint that I can like push against, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and that's so that true. was that was the- I fight with that. I have such yeah, an internal struggle with my yeah. love of rules. Uh -huh. Like- I don't think you have a love of rules. I know I don't have a love of rules, but I do like a deadline. <laughs> like it's hard yes, for me to do I, things exactly. without a deadline. A deadline. Mm -hmm. I, need I need a deadline. Need a deadline. Mm -hmm. I think yeah. that's why when we were like, let's make this list, for me having yeah. that list to look at and be like- It's great. By yep. Tuesday, by Wednesday, by Monday. Right. Yeah. And without that, it's like- I need a consequence. Yeah. Totally. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. It's so impressive to me 
Thank you. Me you too. <laughs> knocked off two fucking books. Thank you. It's yeah, amazing. it was hard. How yeah. does your family feel about you being an authoress? They're they're so proud. I know. They're always like, my mom's like, my daughter's famous. <laughs> and she's like, my mom is an esthetician. And she's always like doing these people's facials. And she's like, well, my daughter wrote a book. <laughs> and then like these people will come to my readings. will be like, oh, your mom sent me. <laughs> That's so sweet. And it's really sweet. Um, yeah, but they're, they've actually like never read my books. They like can't. That's there are people so, who don't read. You I know, love that. Which I love. No, but I love that. I, I want to like, they're if so they did. Of you and exactly. Like, I don't know what you did, but <laughs> they're I'm like, so I don't know what she's you. doing. It's kind of crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's really yeah. sweet. Do mm -hmm. they live here? They live in Boston. In Boston. Yeah. Okay, cute. Yeah. Boston. Love that. My mom was like, I had a dream that you make Candelaria into a Netflix show. And they were asking me questions. <laughs> she was like, why don't you do that? And then in the same, she was also like, what if you um, <laughs> became an influencer? And then she was like, the next sentence was like, you should play the lottery. <laughs> I was I like, these are all kind of like her. the same. <laughs> oh my God. I want you to have a lot of money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, very mm -hmm. soon. Yeah. yeah. That's so cute. I love when my mom was like, why don't you just do another commercial? And I'm like, they are really. I know. Good. They're like, why don't you just do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So so like, like, why you don't just go do that? Why don't you yeah. call Lauren Michaels? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. yeah. Get a, yeah. <laughs> I know. I think it's, it's, it's not easy for them. Ever. Yeah. What do your other sisters do? My older sister, she's a medical assistant and a waitress. And my younger sister works at a rehab center. Cute. Wow. Yeah. My sister's mm -hmm. a nurse. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so it's got a lot of medical stuff in yours. Yeah. 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 There's a lot of, I know they are, I don't know. I don't, and I'm like, and I'm a writer. <laughs> I know. Did yeah. your family, they just accepted that right away. They were like, she's going to be. Yeah, they accepted it. They That's were like. Great. It's like the same way where they're like, oh, yeah, like, you know, Melissa doesn't realize her fly is down. She's a writer or something. <laughs> yeah. We love it. That's really yeah. sweet. I feel really lucky. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And you have a partner right now? I do. Love that. Mm -hmm. Miguel. 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 He's Colombian. I, I was going to say he's Colombian. Yeah. He's Colombian. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Mm -hmm. I love that. Yeah. Was sign? he born here or there? He was born in Colombia. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah. And he's a Leo. He's a Leo. Yeah. Uh huh. Love that. Yeah. I did a Leo. Mm -hmm. I think it's a good balance. It's a good balance. There, my younger sister's a Leo. My dad is a Leo, so I feel okay. like I you know understand you know it. Yeah, yeah, there's mm -hmm. a lot of there's just so much like cats. I never met a Leo who like doesn't like sleeping in like complete darkness because mm. they're like they like a den. <laughs> but they're also really I'm like, proud. like who do I know that's a Leo? No, that trash. Yeah, or with like a mask. <laughs> yeah. We don't have a lot of Leo. Well, I X, don't. X. X is a Leo. Okay, X. Yeah, you don't know Leos and you're like performers. No. You know what? A I lot don't. of our performer friends are Virgo. Really? Cancer. Cancer. Yeah. Gemini. Mm. Gemini. Mm. A lot of Gemini's. A Leo profile. Ruby, I guess. Ruby McAllister's a Leo. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, Ruby is such a Leo. Such a Leo. The hair. The hair. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I don't know that I have like a ton of Leo friends. That's so interesting. Yeah. A lot of Aries friends. Hmm. hmm. I don't have a lot of Aries friends. Yeah. Probably a lot of Leo placements. I'm friends know with about. a lot of Pisces and a lot of Tauruses. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I attract Virgos, Pisces, Taurus, yeah. Cancers. Yeah. Mm. How long have you been, been with your man? Um, Two and a half years. Yeah, I thought it was longer than that. No, yeah, two and a half. Well, I guess we're on three years now. Going okay. on three years. Going on three. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Cute. Yeah. Living together. Not living together. We live together. We have two cats. Love that. Okay. Frank You're... and Jimmy. Oh my god, that's, that's so cute. fun. Mm -hmm. You're mm -hmm. like me. Yeah. I have two cats. I love. I gotta have my my little familiars. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I want more cats. I yeah. want one more cat. That's I think so one more cat would be perfect. Her <laughs> cats are all your cats are already like the most active cats I've ever seen. Like they're always Yeah, they they get active. <laughs> they're like a cartoon. You know in cartoons when there's like a little thing and yeah. it's like a little circle, like you don't even see the cats. <laughs> That's how I visit like yeah. yeah, but just like one <laughs> more kitty. I just want a kitty so bad. Uh, yeah. Do you think you have fun. that like parasite from the cats, you know, with that, you know, like what is this? I, I guess people with cats like the litter we get addicted <laughs> to them. no there's like there's like this little parasite that they give you so mm -hmm. that you're like you never smell their poop and oh. you're obsessed with them <gasps> oh and i i think i do smell the poop but i am i, I, I am I like am obsessed i'm obsessed i'm like i would die for you that is me the and my husband are I've ever heard of. they are so the manipulative yeah they are so manipulative. it's very alien i think they aliens. always have an agenda they are very they? they do have an agenda the yeah. way that george manipulates me george, george is my boy cat and he's so bad <laughs> yeah he's so bad he just is like he's like poop or pee or anything he's just almost like 
running around putting or, things in his mouth yes. <laughs> stealing things yeah. and like messing with us all like you know you walk by and he's like, to like smack your legs totally like he's always doing mischief to Sydney. or he'll it's like really sit funny. in a crazy yeah. way and like a crazy stance and just like look at you not in a creepy way where so cats are creepy. like i'm eyeing you like no, he's, he's more like, like yeah, yeah, yeah like goofy mm. and then i'm like what are you planning now with yeah. this goofy yeah. ass look on your face mm-hmm. it's mm-hmm. crazy my cat frank will frank will will like there'll be like a mason jar of water and he'll like look at me and be like mm. i love that and he just he, they're terrorists he's yeah. a dog could mm-hmm. never do that what right. dog could ever look at you and know that and they just were do doing things something? on purpose? Or yeah. maybe they could. I don't know. I've never really met a dog like that. Like that has mm. um, a specific like bit they're doing for evil purposes. Right. Which yeah. Is fun. My friend's dog was my friend's parents dog like kept limping and then they like took it to the vet and the vet was like, there's nothing wrong with this dog. And he was like, he's one of those. <laughs> He was like a golden doodle or something. Mm. And they're like really smart. Everyone loves so a golden doodle. So he was just, he was like pretending. Isn't That's that weird? so funny. <laughs> maybe he wanted to be that. picked up. Yeah, maybe. Oh my God. Yeah, he wanted to be held. So he's like, oh, he's like, I'll do this for a bit. Yeah. That's so funny. Mm-hmm. My sister's a that golden doodle. That sounds like doodle. something I would do. You know, it seems like those dogs are either the smartest people in the world or the dumbest people in the world. Mm-hmm. There's no, really no in between. Yeah. Dogs in the world. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> well, no, I will say, like, my sister's dog is very human. Mm. Like, very It's a little human. freaky. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. Like, mm-hmm. the, like, when they turn their heads, I'm like, yeah. It's like, okay. I'm like, well. you're also very sweet. Okay, Steve, yeah. or whatever your name mm-hmm. was. Yeah. It's mm-hmm. really psycho. So, what else is going on? Oh, also, we have a. Um, oh, yeah, we have our a se- unpack segment. We have an unpack segment. Oh, yeah. Let's we have do a really it. just so- Is it unpack or unpack it? I think unpack. Unpack, just yeah. regular unpack. Okay. okay. Unpack. I Let's mean, do I it. do. I think regular unpack is good. Yeah. Um, unpack where you come to us with something that you would have talked about with your therapist this week. Yeah. Oh my God. I wish I had a therapist this week. Exactly. Here we are. And here we, we are. Wow. Free. Leisure Center is your lower east side solution for vintage clothes, shoes, books, posters, home decor, and cute downtown fashion boys. Shop for the boyfriend you have or pick one up while you shop for you. With men's, women's, unisex, and a full range of sizing, Leisure Center delivers the hottest vintage fashion for everyone. Get 10% off online with code HOES or mention it in-store for discount. Leisure Center at 48 Hester Street in Lower Manhattan. Welcome. Oh, my God. Yeah. Okay, I was... Okay, something I wanted to unpack with my with a therapist. I had to... Okay, my therapist was too expensive. Yeah. And the mm-hmm. one I liked to go was out of pocket. So mm-hmm. I was like, I can't do... I can't pay $100 a week. Me too. I do the same thing. Yeah. I gotta go. I gotta email her because she emailed me know. just to check on me. Yeah. And I love her. She was good. When I get some more coin, I'll go back to her. I, I need know. her. I know. I it's, her. it's truly an investment. Ugh. Um, But I get really... It's really annoying that when I'm angry, I cry. Oh and it my feels, God. it feels really weak, mm. but I, and I'm like, I, like, I don't know how to deal with conflict without crying. And I'm mm. like, what the hell is that? You know, mm. do you, do you get you it? really came to the right yeah. place this week yeah. <laughs> yeah, because I just brought that up to my therapist. So I'm in somatic therapy right now. So oh. it's all about kind of like releasing in the body. Mm-hmm. And I literally told her that, like, she's trying to give me all these techniques to like release the anger. Like when I feel it, like yeah. punching mm. a pillow, screaming into a pillow, whatever. And I'm like, okay. I actually don't feel like I can release any anger without being verbal and saying something Mm, fucked up. So mm -hmm. obviously I'm trying to change that. (laughs) So I was like, beyond that, the only thing that gets it out is crying. Mm -hmm. And so Mm. I'm like, do I push myself to get to like the crying place sooner? Yeah. And she was like, you can. Right. And that's a like, I think it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. And I think like, it's just embarrassing. It's humiliating. Yeah. Yeah. It is humiliating. (laughs) But I remember like in my teenage fights, I was always screaming and crying and whatever. And I think it is your body just like getting, yeah. moving the feelings out. Right. And it is, you know, if you cry, it's just emotional overwhelm. Mm-hmm. So it's really mm-hmm. kind of par for the course. Yeah. That's so interesting. Mm-hmm. That is really interesting. I don't think that when I get angry, I cry. I think I just get angry. <laughs> do you think? <laughs> but you I do, do you get cry mean? a lot. Yeah. I don't get mean, but I cry a lot yeah. in general. Like mm-hmm. I'm just sensitive. I cry a lot. She can get mean. You can definitely <laughs> get mean. Yes. Are you kidding? I don't think I get mean. I mean I'm... You can get mean. <laughs> I don't think I can get mean when I'm angry. Okay, girl. Okay. Okay. Maybe. She can. Not not crazy. Not anything I don't think out I'm, of the I can ordinary. Get, you know what kind of mean I can get? I feel like the kind of mean that I get is like I get stony. Mm. Does, does that make sense? I feel like I get stony. Yeah. I get very like. But you'll say things too. 
Mm. You'll say things. Yeah, yeah. definitely that. I but get, then I get quiet things. when I'm when I'm feeling mean, I'm like, I'm quiet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, I'm, just I'm trying to something. hold it in. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying like, to like be nice. I'm trying to focus. I'm mm-hmm. trying to like yeah. work through the feeling. So I get very like, mm. yeah. Yeah, I get that. I get like poverty from uh trader. <laughs> She's always like, okay. mm. oh, the. <laughs> <laughs> Good. <laughs> yeah, I love her. I don't know why she's wearing. Why does she wear those headbands? Because she's stupid. It's okay. so dumb. It's so dumb. She has such a good look, and she I don't that. like her. I don't trust her. She gives really? me bad vibes. Really, she gives me bad vibes. Like the gays love her. The gays, yeah. love, the gays love her. her. Yeah, they have put her she's on for a pedestal, the and I, yeah. she is for the gays. But mm-hmm. and I get why. And usually that would attract that. That's what attracts me to a lot of women. Mm-hmm. I like a bitch. Yeah. In the words of Mary Kate, I love a cunty bitch. <laughs> I do. When I then see, how do you not like poverty? Something about her where it just, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. It was her energy with Phaedra that I was like, mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Okay. I don't like her. Well, yeah. That's okay, we have to get like, back to our session. Okay, oh, session. so what do you think? Um, oh, I was going to say makes, something. Okay. What, I, I don't want to say it because I don't want to forget it. Okay, go. Um, when you, these confrontations that you're having, do you ever prepare for them? Mm, yeah. uh, I should. I sometimes think you can. I sometimes they're in yeah. the sometimes moment. Can. Yeah. But if you can prepare for them and try to get ahead of it, don't let it build up. Yeah. Right. Mm. Like call it out right then and there, but prepare right. the call out. Right. I think that's Write what's so note. good about therapy because you have to like constantly check in with yourself. Right. Mm. And so you're like, okay, it's like you have to prepare for something that hasn't happened yet. Yeah. I know. Which sometimes like when kind of more when I was just doing like regular talk therapy, like yeah. I was like, I have to have a list or something. Otherwise, I'm going to come in and tell you about the last week for 35 minutes and then Mm -hmm. we have four seconds to actually do anything so it's like having a checklist prepared to like use your money well when you're doing exactly Mm, yeah that's what i see i don't do that that's smart yeah like because otherwise it's like you're setting it on fire yeah Yeah. totally i mean i think one of the things that you could try is preparing for the confrontation yeah having your notes Mm -hmm. you know what i mean saying what about when you're in the moment what about when you're in the moment and it just comes up Right. Well, I mean, I was just, that was my one idea. Sure. You could do that one. I love that. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> but I think what's more challenging, but yes, coming with receipts, mm-hmm. if, if you are going to confront someone, yeah. it's huge. Have your, yeah. your little ducks in a row. Mm-hmm. That's, that's huge. I mean, for in the moment, I mean, I feel like for in the moment, you have to like, first of all, take the breaths, take mm-hmm. your time. Don't rush it. Yeah. Even if it's in the moment, don't feel like everything is bubbling out. I think that's one of our mistakes is that sometimes in the moment, it just goes, yeah, like take a deep breath. I know. And still take your time. Right. Reclaim your time. Reclaim your time. You're in charge. And I think that's the other thing. When you feel overwhelmed, you feel like you're not in charge. And also everything like speeds up. Everything speeds up. You have to catch up with it. But pause. Yeah. Pause before you let it come out. I know. Take Mm -hmm. the time. you really lose your power, don't you? Yeah. When you lose your cool, you lose the power of the situation, which Mm -hmm. does suck Mm because it feels like you're killing it. Yeah. But you're actually not. Yeah. Another thing my therapist brought up to me was women have been collecting rage like from the day we were born yeah and 100 Mm -hmm. the amount of like up to here like suppressed rage that we have we're always functioning like from here it's not like you have like you know you can the reserve is not down here exactly right here and like Mm. so much unprocessed rage anger whatever like we're just like the fuse is short yeah so like going through I'm literally I think about to make a list of things that I'm angry about mm-hmm. from my past from everything yeah. and like literally go through and do some I don't even know what yeah processing it's actually so crazy and exhausting but it has it is exhausting been helping I, guess. I know I hate that therapy like isn't like does it doesn't fix you in Free. a minute exactly. yeah I'm oh, like oh this Free, is like years fun, and immediate. years yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Totally. Like I still, I, I used to go to therapy because I was diagnosed with OCD. Really? Hot. Um, Yeah. It's it's the most Virgo quality. It is. Truly. Absolutely. But Were it was like a, the, like what was it? It was like, yeah, I, I thought, I thought OCD was like cleaning and counting. So I was like, okay, I don't do that <laughs> math or cleaning. <laughs> um, <laughs> but it was like intrusive thoughts, mm. which actually I think like a lot of the online girlies like love to self-diagnose, you know, intrusive mm-hmm. thoughts. But yeah, it was just like, oh, like 
and it, it started centering around food mm. and I could only like make my own food. And I was like convinced that food people were giving me was poisoned. It was so crazy. Wow. Mm. And something and that's OCD that is OCD. And I was like, it's poison. And that's good poison, to know poison. because you I don't what? think people know that. Yeah. No, everybody that. knows that. Yeah. My has that. It's just like, it's like a thought that doesn't logically make sense, but you're still, wait, what'd you say? <laughs> she said my grandma has it. <laughs> She does. Yeah. She does. <laughs> she does. She's she like, that's poisonous. Like, it's like something's been in the fridge for like one second. She's like, it's old. Like, and she's like, yeah. really crazy. And then another one has food from like the 90s. And she's like, chips. Like, it's really crazy. They're oh, polar that's so crazy. I know, no, but expir- expiration dates still like make me feel crazy. Too. Right. Like, yeah. Be- really. And it kind I of, do. Yeah. I'm a little paranoid in that but sense. But that's a of, like, measured anxiety. Yeah, it is. Where this could kind of kill you. If right. It's mm-hmm. This date. I totally get that. Right. I had to, for the therapy, the therapy was weird. But maybe if, if people have OCD, they can relate. I had to like, I had to write down poison over and over again. I've never felt crazy. Easier wow. than writing down poison over and over again also. But she just, she was like, you have to like sit with it because if you don't sit with it, then mm. the fear gets larger. So like the more you avoid something, the bigger it becomes and the more oh real it becomes. Mm. So you just have to like face it. And then she like how made fucking me rude of her I was like, <laughs> to say that to yeah, you. Yeah, I know. Because it's true. Yeah. And it's like, and that's the part about therapy so that true. can be difficult yeah it's like bitch don't fucking come for my neck yeah. mm-hmm. don't snatch me up by my edges right and, and yet fucking that's talk to me for. like this right. even though this is what we're paying for and i'm sure that that was helpful it was. as you're saying that to me mm-hmm. i'm like oh i hate the reality I of that know. i hate it <laughs> the more you avoid something the more real it becomes fuck you i know right <laughs> literally fuck you, fuck you bitch. <laughs> don't be right <laughs> Don't be right and bring things to my attention. No, let me avoid this. Let, let me, me avoid it. I know. It. <sighs> but it really, wow. yeah. Did it, it did help? work. It did help. It did. I mean, another thing that was weird was she like made me eat candy in front of her that looked tampered with. So I was like, I was like, <laughs> like oh my God. <laughs> and then I had to just like keep like, I had to like eat things that I wasn't comfortable with eating. And then sure. eventually like. It went away. And sometimes it transfers to other stuff and I just mm-hmm. have to be like, okay. Or it will come up when I'm like in a really anxious moment in my life or mm-hmm. like yeah. I'm stressed and I'm like, okay, why am I really convinced that the like man next to me is going to shoot me? Mm-hmm. But I think maybe everyone has those fears, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. York. And it reminds me of girls. Yeah. Remember, yes. Hannah gets her book deal. Oh, and digging exactly. In the ear. Yes. Exactly. I'm like, sometimes I'll clock exactly. myself doing something weird where I'm like Googling something incessantly uh-huh. when I have like a deadline. I'm like, right. hey girl. Yeah. Yeah. No. Mm-hmm. Stop the it. girls episode where she's doing that is so is such a I'm like, oh fuck. There's like, so much about that. Well, I don't want to be a Hannah, but yeah, yeah maybe you I don't want to be a Hannah, girl. But sometimes you <laughs> sometimes are. Sometimes you are. Absolutely. <laughs> like I hate that. Like the other day I had a deadline and I was trying to write this thing and it should have taken me an hour, two hours max. I was up to like three o'clock in the morning because I kept getting on my phone and I kept mm-hmm. looking on my I was on my computer but then I would go look at nail stuff and like I'm obsessed with my that's my new obsession is my nail art oh yeah yeah and these are all falling off but they need to they need to come off <laughs> <laughs> I just like one by one letting them fall I love taking I, wanna, I love taking off my no nails. it hurt I don't this is very good glue so I've just like kind of been letting them yeah fall. it's just glue not the sticky thing no glue. this is just glue and these things won't it. fucking leave me that's crazy well, but like when I I get obsessed with something and I feel myself and I have to be like, do not get too obsessed with it so that you abandon your other things. Mm -hmm. Because right now, all I want to do is paint nails. Yeah, I know. That's all I want to do is practice my nail art because it's nice to me. It doesn't fight with me. I'm learning. There's so many reasons why when the the girl did, we got these flash. What is this called? Permanent. Um, Permanent neck bracelet. Catbird. Yes. Mine's too tight. Oh, really? I it's love too tight. Mine. And I mine's knew perfect. it as it was going. I was Wait, like, what I is need it? To ask it's a permanent a bracelet. Well, the girl that did yeah, mine was a witch. Them. She read me down. She had great energy. Yeah, and I was telling I her about how I made these and how I like them. And she was like, because it's quiet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because it's a concentrated, focused thing that you can do and you are in control. Yeah. And she was like, one word to my girl. Really mean her witch. Nothing. And she was like, it's like doing this. I wow. have to be so focused. Mm-hmm. I have you, literally they zap it. She's like, I'm you like, oh, I can't, so tight. I can't. She's talking to me, but she's like, I have to be so focused. It's like muscle yeah. memory. Yeah. It becomes muscle memory to you. And that is, she's like, it's meditative. It's soothing. Right. And I'm right now that is so soothing well, to me. I totally. Keep doing it. I mean, yeah, don't I'm not lose gonna stop. your day job over it. Right. I'm not going like, to lose my day job. I think like it. distractions are really important. 
as artists, like they're really informative mm-hmm. where you're like, oh, because my art is technically comedy acting or yeah. whatever, but this is artistic to but me. It's exactly. And, it has a job. Mm-hmm. and like to do yeah. something for no money. Mm-hmm. Like remember when I started crocheting that pillow for no reason that actually cost like $150 <laughs> in yarn? <laughs> that I was like literally like sometimes when I crochet, <laughs> I'll intend to sell it. And I was like, I have to do some or not sell it, even mm-hmm. like make it for someone. Right. Or something. Mm-hmm. I was like, I have to literally do something that's just straight rose mm-hmm. and has no monetary stakes or anything right so, didn't finish it but that was good and it's like it has to have no other right intentions. that is yeah. so hard Your art and relaxation and it is learning it's just for you and yeah and now i'm so it's good for you. into it yeah it's crazy That's but then beautiful. i'm also saying to myself like is this like a thing that I've discovered and it's real and it like genuinely will be my thing mm-hmm. or am <laughs> i distracting myself Maybe, I don't think maybe it has to be both? either. Yeah, yeah, or both. Yeah. Okay. I don't think you have to open a nail salon, but I also don't think that like you have to give it all up. I don't think I want to open toxic, a nail salon. Because I'm like, that would be cool. No, I don't, I don't want to open a nail salon, but like now I'm like, I could do this. I well, am going to take not a class on you press on. I want to sell press ons, but like I want to take clients. Like I want to, I'm going to a class on April 20th. Yeah. Great. Like I'm, Gonna, like I want to learn. And you would, it. you well, would be maybe, like beloved like, if people came. You have clients come to you. I'd be like having people come over and to my tie house. I've been yeah. practicing really on perfect. people's nails. Yeah, I did Emily Panic's nails. You know last what night. you could do is your closet bedroom. That's what I wanted to. Mm-hmm. I was just yeah. talking about that with Emily last night. Yeah, I think you absolutely could do that. And then, like you know, as a little side hustle, why not? Yeah. I, tr- I truly trapped her in my home yesterday. I love that. Emily <laughs> thought she was coming over for a one, two, three. And I was like, nah, you're it's in never here. That. I love it's that. It's never that. I know, but Emily, Emily, didn't Emily didn't know. Emily oh, didn't my know. God. Yeah. The other night, she was like, I took an Uber share for the first time in a really long time. Ooh, How is that? I love those. They're like a play. Uh, I haven't taken one full. in so long. It was I should really do it full. Just for the fun. characters. Well, you know, first of all, you know, you never think it's going to happen to you where there's going to be another person. Uh huh. The car pulled up with another person. <gasps> okay, she seemed lovely. We greet like, each other Hi. like, "Well, fuck, here we go." <laughs> yeah, you know, it's like yeah. it's like the hang that nobody wants. Yeah. Uh-huh. So we're like kind of being whatever. Driver's super sweet. Her stop is next. All of a sudden, he takes a hard turn. Oh and no! We're like, oh no! And of course, we pick up another guy, and we're already two in the back. So he tries to open the door. We're like, front seat, front seat. It was like this whole drama. The guy's moving stuff out of the seat because no. we're like bullying him. We're like, you can't have him in the back seat with us, like a middle seat. Like we were like, no, you can't do this to us. We're like, I thought it was only one person. He's like, no, it's two. So we're like, fuck. It was like this whole drama. Guy gets in the front seat. He gets dropped off first. So we're both like, we've been here. Like, you know, the hierarchy has been disrupted. Uh-huh, uh-huh, this guy got uh-huh. in, oh got God. out. And the community got the has started. Seat. Exactly. So, you know, it was a bit of an uprising in the back. Mm-hmm. She got out. We'd been through a lot together. We like said bye. We're like, have a good night. Like, oh, oh, like, oh my God, that's so beautiful. It was, but it was like, because we'd been through war uh-huh. together. Well, truly. It was crazy, but I saved $8. Oh. $8 is bad. Yeah. I did hear that. That it's was not a scary. Well, now I'm thinking about the apocalypse. I, know. I literally was like, I it's never New think York. about the apocalypse. And then that sounded and I was no, like, that's that's New York. That's not the apocalypse. It gave it's like me a something fright. fell. Yeah. I, I, I do but feel eight dollars is amazing. Eight dollars is a good so thing. Too, oh. Because to take a forty dollar Uber versus like a thirty two oh, dollar. Oh my god, yeah. Oh, absolutely. That it's feels like you're making money. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So it was worth it, but I had not done one of those in a really long time. Remember when we used to call it Uber Pool and now they call it Uber Shit? I think Uber pool. Oh my god! Better. Did I say Uber share? You said Uber share. Oh, wow! Maybe We're living here I am indoctrinated We're in the future. It is. We're in the future. It is. Yeah, it's called Uber share, not Uber pool. Wow, yeah. that's so crazy. That was such like a pre-pandemic thing. It felt Sydney like that. used to and take Uber pools all the time, and then write these <laughs> Her long stories. Were so ass funny. <laughs> Uber pool stories. They were insane. I'm gonna go home and remind her of that. And sh- I'm like, you need to make videos about those yeah. Uber pool stories. Wow. If amazing. you can go back and read them, even if you just go back and read them, what a good time. I love it. I mean. One time, Mary Kate and I were in an Uber pool, and we met this other interracial best friend group. Like, oh my group, god, that's so! But funny. it was like an Indian boy and a white guy, and they got in the Uber pool with us. And it was like alternate universe, alternate universe. Like, it was like two dorky <laughs> guys, minute. two dorky girls, and we immediately made friends with them oh, that's because so we clocked each other as soon as they got in. We looked at each other, and we were like, 
Oh, that's amazing. And then we just chatted for the entire ride from wow. Brooklyn to Manhattan. I, I wish I wish them well. I can't remember their names, but I hope they're all doing well. Hope you're uh, seeing this. I hope you're safe. <laughs> I hope you're still friends. I hope you're still friends. I hope you're still I'm friends. Sure they no, are. they are. They yeah. are friends. Yeah. They were glue. They were tight. Yeah, um, they were tight. Beautiful. I love it. Yeah. Wait. Oh, that's tonight. You're going to the science. Thing. Oh, my God. I'm missing an event. Yeah. I'm missing an event where there will be what's going to be there? There's going to be food, uh, drinks. Pictures of your aura. What is it? Aura photo booth. What's the event? It's for it's a, it's for a TV screening. show. Oh. Yeah, screening. Oh. And there's it's a girl be from Dairy else. Girls and Bridgerton who she loves. Oh, I know exactly who that is. The plus size girl. We're two I girls love her. Now. You know I stand for her. Yeah. We are two She's girls. so cute. Oh my God. Um, yeah, we love to be. We love to be. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, and I'm missing that to go on a double date with Mary Kate and her girlfriend and me and Hobbit. Oh. Which is fine. I'm ex- I was excited about it until I realized it was the same day oh, and time man. and now i'm missing out on something really fun retrograde. but this better be fun that is retrograde like, there's actually pressure on those people that are yeah. going to be coming with us and by those people i mean hominy mary kate and oh yeah because she's really let the them three know them. too yeah, i thought yeah, you yeah. were maybe hiding that from mary kate and then she looked at her and she was like i'm going on this stupid date with you <laughs> <laughs> literally to her face i'm missing my event because to- you booked tickets and you better get <laughs> wait me what are you guys bag. gonna do get okay me remind me bag. remind me i feel like i'm gonna be a little drunk i'm gonna text you because i'll be at the fucking science center <laughs> what is what event or what <laughs> wait, wait, yeah, what's, or a, what's a double it's date? in new jersey it's a science it's center. a new jersey it's yeah, an adult are they having night at the science center there's oh, gonna be God. an r&b light show Okay. R&B light show. And, and this adult, is very you better Mary take Kate an edible. coded. <laughs> yeah. I am absolutely <laughs> taking an edible. As soon Mary as I Kate finish my wanting work. wanting to go to an R&B light show at R&B the Science light Center show. is so funny. Uh, <laughs> it's so funny, but it's going to be cute, but I'm just mad. And you're driving all the way to and New Jersey. Dri- and we're driving. And pissed that we have to drive to New Jersey. But she Even made Even Hamade was like, I did not agree to this. He did. Either gaslighting, oh my either God. this is his first ga- gaslight and lie, or he really didn't agree to He wasn't it, paying attention. You... He did, but okay. he wasn't paying attention. Okay. Wow. He wasn't paying attention, and I was bothering him, and he was just like, okay. <laughs> I just feel like he wanted me to get out of his face. Yeah. And he's like, like okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and so now he's like, I don't know what. No, you did say yes. This does feel like a retrograde moment, for sure. Right. Mm-hmm. Have you had one yet? Where you're like, actually, today was- we had like a couple guest situations, like our scheduling for, yeah, like second guest this week. I feel mm-hmm. like it was a little kooky. Yeah, this is our second pod for the week. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah we do two in well, a week. Also, we oh, that's smart. Smart. we have it's something so coming hard. to the Patreon. <laughs> Melissa also has a podcast. I have a pod. What is your pod? My pod is called Say More. Um, oh, I love that. And it's with Olivia Gatwood, another authoress and poet. And Amazing. we just talk about like, writing and it's like this mm, and we have guests that. on but it's really hard to coordinate because she lives in california and it's like right. three hours so you're behind. Zooming. Oh, we're you're zooming. zooming and so sometimes we get the times mixed up we hate zoom is so hard we hate zoom we hate slack uh, yeah yeah we i hate I slack. Connor. Connor, yeah. you making me uh, go back when connor came to us and was like the way that we're gonna communicate now is slack, slack. we we're immediately like, started screaming we were like we no, we like, at the same time we were like no you can't do this to us <laughs> yeah, like going off and Connor was, so was like crazy. Connor's like I just I don't apologize text. for that Connor we but really I disrupt his Slack cool a lot. <laughs> literally the, the shaking noise that Slack makes when it's like <laughs> oh god oh it makes my skin crawl oh no okay because you know what it reminds me of is when you had that dentist job yeah and she'd have it on full blast this is a Guatemala what, memory what was the, what me was taking the a nap job? and we were like great question I don't know what she I did was for this dentist company I was working for a company. dental software company I don't know what she did okay. I was like are you was doing a surgery I don't know what you're doing What's but she dental was, you were talking about like I'd hear you on the phone talking like about like like dental procedures uh-huh. and it was crazy because mm-hmm. I was like she doesn't know how to do that yes I do I and know she... so much about teeth now okay okay interesting but it would be full blast volume <laughs> slack 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 like going <laughs> off so hard I was like just trying to take a goddamn nap in Guatemala <laughs> and I think that's why you have slack trauma mm-hmm. <laughs> because it was so loud I didn't know I you were in trauma. Guatemala but I was gonna say that's a very Guatemalan moment of just like chaos yeah. literally the, there's a volcano the, spewing out uh, the yeah. window <laughs> slacks going off yeah. she's telling me not to wear sweatpants to meet her family at 7 a.m which i'm really glad i didn't oh by God. the way yeah i'm yeah. really glad no it was sweatpants. a nice sweat set. thank uh, no, you no no it, no you thank look good. god we don't do that. We don't thank do god i didn't wear the sweats i put on a little dress i was like so sleepy we were hungover we were so hungover 
And yeah, thank God I was wearing the dress. I would have been humiliated. Yeah. But I was like, who's yeah. not wearing sweatpants at 8 a.m.? No. Guess no. What? We don't, they don't do Quite that well, country. You show up anywhere and you have to be like. And yeah. I was. And I Just got like, it. That was like our first day. I got it right after that. I was yeah. like, oh, T. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. We don't. We and don't I love that. I love that culture. down as much yeah. as we just like, like even our like dress down is a little bit more dressed up than right. America, I think I wore a dress I on the road trip. I, right. You did wear a dress and so did I. Yeah. I mean that and my cousins we were looking cute. Hours. Like, right. you know, we're just my mom, my mom is a marathon runner. And uh, oh she's run God. 13 Very marathons. Cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. It's her. She's running away from her trauma. Mm-hmm. And, uh, um, and I respect that. I, I know. Totally. It's great. But when I like went I to go to see run her run I, on like Heartbreak Hill, Connor, you know what I'm talking about? And uh, um, I was just wearing like a like like not a not a Carhartt jacket, but might as well have been mm-hmm. and like mom jeans and kind of what I'm wearing right now. And after I was like, yeah, mom. And she was like wearing like lipstick while she was running stained that lipstick so and very, afterwards afterwards yeah. she's like in this like tin th- those like those mm-hmm. like tin the aluminum foil things just, to put around you and she was like melissa i need to tell you something you cannot be a writer and look like a hippie <laughs> all the time and i was like oh but my mom, god you're wearing like, foil mom i was like you're wearing foil but mom but she's a writer I, and hippie is like same thing yeah. <laughs> that is so and funny. she's like people need to respect you <laughs> I was like, oh, that is something. That, I mean, yeah. My mom what are, was like what are you wearing for her? Too. Ideally, she wants you in dresses. Oh, I mean, she suits. like buys me things passive aggressively from right. TJ Maxx. Mm-hmm. And it's like, this is what you should be with. Like, it's yeah. like, it's like something I'm not going to wear. It's mm-hmm. like something she would wear. Mm-hmm. Like, 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 it's like a white flowy top. I love. You know, I and love. maybe also white pants. Oh, I love it. <laughs> we love a white pant. Yeah. I will say that I feel like white pants are very Latina. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they are. And I'll never forget when Jennifer Lopez had a line at Kohl's, I believe it uh-huh. was. Oh, yeah. My mother went and got her some white pants. And I just remember her coming into mm-hmm. the kitchen and being like, look at my white pants. She's like, I love Jennifer good. Lopez. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Jennifer Lopez white pants. You Have you talked me? about JLo on the pod yet? We've talked we about her. We talked about her last time because we had the nasty. Okay, but we okay. can do it again. Yeah. We can talk about JLo because I feel like you have something to say. Please. Well, I just, I don't, I, I, I am not, I am not from the Bronx. I'm from Massachusetts, sure. but uh-huh. I, I also, I feel like I can't hate JLo. You can try. I do not hate JLo. Yeah. This is yeah. what I say. I say JLo yeah, is one either. of our best performers of all time. And if there's she's anybody an who's going to show actress. up. She's an amazing actress. If anybody's going to show up in a goddamn rom-com and pretend to be an Italian woman, it is going to be Jennifer Lopez <laughs> yes. and we are going to believe her. Yes. And we're going to believe her. Mm-hmm. Okay. Her name is like Mariana Mariano sauce. And I fucking <laughs> believe her. And I love Jennifer Lopez. She's a yeah. down to earth. But mm-hmm. I just wish that she would be more down to earth as a person. Yeah. Like her persona yeah. as JLo. It's like, babe, she we don't need down. you to be jenny from the block right be jennifer lopez exactly be a right. diva i mean you are better than us and we don't mind exactly that. do you think it's the ben affleck effect of like he is donkey donuts no i'm wearing sweatpants and smoking a cigarette so she's, <laughs> she's like, like actually me real. too i go to I don't bodega think so she's always <laughs> i don't know pulling but the sometimes from the block she, thing. Are you i think me? she's I she might be trying to co-brand and be like you're relatable i'm relatable right. Right. or something like that it's like no, no you're because how does diva. that work diva and i haven't shaved that's in five life. days that's but life I, th- yeah. i'm just I trying that, to get in her I mind think I, I think mm-hmm. i you know understand I mean? that yeah because he this whole thing is like i'm this scrubby guy from boston exactly and, and she's like me too yeah. but the bronx and, and she's like she's not well, we we grew up to we like we came yeah. up you know yeah. because she's doing goodwill hunting this is her uh-huh. goodwill hunting of yeah. like i'm i like bodegas and <laughs> i was running around in my messy hair because he's like scratching his balls with a coffee <laughs> this is, so that's like her <laughs> he's her saying he's drinking Dunkin Donuts and he's scratching his penis he literally <laughs> to me he is constantly just trying to scratch his balls at the Grammys oh, or yeah. wherever no matter where he is he wants yeah. to scratch mm-hmm. his he's uncomfy he's uncomfy I in really a lot of those situations I love like that. is a man who is like a white man from Boston who yeah. I really understand because I feel like my sisters have dated him I feel like uh, I've dated I him I think it's so hot he's like, like white like Latinas love that kind of white guy I don't uh, know why the I mean, departed. I do, but don't I can't explain it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that is so hot. I think we like, like them because they are a version of a Latina guy, but they're not. Right, like they can they're deal hard. with being yelled at. They can deal with being yelled at. They're kind of tough. <laughs> yeah, very yeah. macho. CT, CT, CT. 
sexy. He's so sexy. We loved sexy. CP. Is he from Boston? I, I, I think, think so. so. Spiritually, I think he is from Boston. Yeah. He yeah. seems like No, no, no. I'm actually, uh, I'm going to go off on a limb and say he's 100% from Boston. That We had a moment where we were like, oh, we got to find him. And actually, he lives in Miami. We're doing the show in Miami. Let's send a little DM. Find him. Should we DM find him? him? Yes, ask him let's to come to definitely the show? DM him. He'd be like, ladies. <laughs> we should ask CT and my ex-lover, Paul. <laughs> oh. Carolina texts me and goes, my ex-lover, Paul, commented on our post. And I'm like, interesting. Like, I really try to maintain sanity Paul. for her when it comes to the ex-lovers. We, we never dated, but we did have sex one time. So oh, my God. So I mean, that was just a full relationship. It was just so no, funny. So, yeah, that. she's but like, my yeah. ex-boyfriend. Yeah. She's yeah. like, we're practically he married. Mm-hmm. He was not. He specifically told me he did not want to be my boyfriend. Wow. And now yeah. you're going to invite him to the show. Yeah, Paul, I mean, I don't Paul, care. I said, I said, Paul, which I think is reasonable. He knows where the show is. See if he shows up. I'm going to invite him. I want to see if he comes. Wow. Okay. He's always a good time. Also, I just feel like. <laughs> In the throes of passion, did you say, oh, Paul? No. <laughs> no. No, oh, no, no, Paul. no, no. He, we went to part. He did this thing where like, he was acting like he, we were hanging out all the time. There was a vibe there, but according to him, the vibe was first of all, we had sex. And He's very like, sweet though. And like, the vibe I was only like, in, I only saw the vibe. We went to a party and I was just like, This is Paul. Like I was introducing him to people. <laughs> my and he, lover. And then when we I didn't say my lover, but then when we left, he was Your just Your energy like, did. He I'm yeah, sure. my energy, my energy a hundred percent did that, but I do that with everyone. Mm-hmm. Like if you are if we're flirting and we're hanging out and we're uh, we're dating. And if I take you to We're my dating. friend's party, I'm going to introduce you like you're my man because I don't want other bitches to fucking get on you. <laughs> and that makes sense to me. Yeah. And he was just like, you were kind of acting like I'm your boyfriend. Oh, and you were like, like, like but we fucked. <laughs> no, I, had we fucked at the time? Oh. Yes, we had. I think we had had sex at that point. But anyways. <laughs> It'd the be point interesting is, if you hadn't and yeah. then he chose to do it. <laughs> so I'd be like, okay, you asked for it. No, I think we had had sex at that point. But my, my thing was, I was just like, first of all, so what? Like, what do you expect? <laughs> I didn't do anything crazy. We're crazy. I didn't the do fact so- that I'm like, yeah, sounds reasonable. I mean, but yeah. I know that it is crazy. I don't yeah. think that it's crazy. I don't like the. I was like, I think there's an illusion don't... of being chill and being like, I don't and do being that. like, yeah, I'll just and be yeah. over there. I'm no, that's, that's crazy. crazy. That's crazy. That's actually the chill crazy. Shit. Yeah. I don't do the chill shit. No, no, like, no, me neither. You're my fucking boo. I like you. I wasn't saying he was my boo, but I liked him. I thought he liked me. And he just was going to sit there and act like I'm crazy. And we no. got into this huge fight. And he was at my house in my room, in my bedroom. And um, I called Mary Kate and I was like, Mary, Paul is getting on my nerves. Paul. <laughs> Paul's ruining everything. Yeah. And Paul was just like, does Paul watch this? I have, Probably Maybe. not. Probably not. Even if he does, I'm not telling any lies. Yeah. These are all facts. I wonder if the he's like, the yeah. matter is, and you know, I he did bring a... himself in by commenting on the post. Publicly. You shouldn't have did it. And wow. now I'm going to invite him to Miami and I'm going to put him, him, him about, on the pod. He lives in Miami. My boyfriend. Okay. She's not flying him he out. He lives in Miami. I'm not flying him out. I will say he did meet Hamaday once. It <gasps> was a beautiful meeting. Oh my God. I love that. We were at karaoke. Me and, me and <gasps> Black Jasmine made Hamaday go to karaoke one night and he, Paul. I, <laughs> Comedy went into the bathroom and then I saw Paul and I was talking to Paul and we were standing like outside of the bathroom and I'm just like, yeah, he's like, oh, I heard you got married. I'm like, yeah, I'm here with my husband. Blah, blah. Hamade comes out of the bathroom and immediately he's like, hello. I'm like, this is Paul. He's like, hello. And then he starts tying my shoe. Hamade did? Yes, bitch. He immediately starts tying my shoe. Wow. And I'm yes. standing there. Hamade's down on the ground. I love Tying that. my oh, shoes. And I'm my looking God. Up right in his eyes. <laughs> and it just felt good. Because oh I was like, God. this could have been you. <laughs> you could have been tying my shoe. Tying my shoe. <laughs> and I truly believe that having me in your life was a positive and wonderful thing. 100%. And you didn't see it for what it was. And that's fine. There is no better way to that's encounter that's your ex lover than your husband tying Foot your fucking out. shoe. Let's go. Yes. Wow. I really feel energized and inspired by that. Story. Isn't it? I mean, it's like any I'm woman, a would. Horny. any person yeah, would. Really I'm, I'm inspired. I wonder what Paul would have to say about that. I'm that's gonna confront my man him on the ground. That's such a flex. Hey, that's a uh, confrontation right there. Yeah. I'm not gonna confront him like, oh, Paul. But I'm just gonna be like, because you, you don't that? have to. Well, I don't you don't have, have to after that. <laughs> but he I am remembers. gonna bring it up. I'm gonna bring it up. <laughs> okay, I'm bring it up. And maybe he'll let me slap him again. When did you slap him during sex? No. Well, we had this. We got into a fight. We got into, this is like, we got into the most public fight I've ever been in with a man. Wow. In front of like all these comedians. I would say like <gasps> the like the most popular 
people of black people comedians were at this bar <laughs> after fucking hidden fences and me and Paul are sitting at the bar and we're fucking art and it looks like we're having a lover spat. That's beautiful. And you can see everyone kind of just like, oh yeah. my God, it was high drama. I loved That's it. That's hot. I loved it so much. And you slapped him in the face. No, I didn't slap him there, but we had a conversation where he, we were talking about sex, the sex that we had had and he was like, oh, I was like, well, I thought that you were going to be really wild sexually. I wasn't trying to make you my boyfriend. I just thought we were hooking up because I wasn't. I just you was hooking up was with him. wild sexually. Because he had crazy eyes. And I was like, you have such crazy <laughs> eyes. I just wanted you to like, I, I thought it was going to be like crazy sex. And, it, and you didn't even say anything. And he's like, I did. I told you to slap me. And I was like, I didn't hear it. I don't remember that. And huh. I was like, if you really wanted me to slap me, you got to be like, slap me in my face. You can't just be like, slap me. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. what the fuck? And he was just like, well, you could slap me right now. If you want to slap me, you could slap me right now. And I did it. But at a later <laughs> time, at another bar and an, on another night, he did say that again to me and I did slap him. Okay. And it was very satisfactory. Wow. I've done the retrospective, like someone did say, you can slap me while we're having sex. And then it months later, pulled it out out of nowhere. Very surprised. Whoa. You know? In the moment is, I think, the ideal. Yeah. I mean, he yeah. said it at the bar, so I slapped him. Good for you. He said, slap me right now. In I front said, of an audience? Or that's, by wow. No, there were people there. Cool. Artie was there. Ask Artie about it. Oh, my God. I will. <laughs> <laughs> wow. This I really, always, you took me down a rabbit hole I of did, 2017. I no, I love it. I'm just uh, imagining like 2017, 18. Wow. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's what Single the days. eclipse is supposed to reflect everything that happened in 2017. The eclipse when? Right now. The clips wow. that's happening in the wow. on the eighth. Twenty seventeen specifically. We had all that rain because of the eclipse. <gasps> well, she would know. She would know. Pisces. Okay. No, my mom's a cancer, but she's a bruja. Yeah, my mom too. <laughs> yeah. I think if you give birth, you become psychic a little. I think so right? too. You're automatically connected. Yeah, I, think so I like too. got arrested for drinking in high school, and my mom woke up like, "What is up?" Like, oh at my the moment. god, yeah, that's really crazy. You I mean. Know? My family's witches. Do you guys do egg egg cleansing? No, but I've heard about it, and I I I want to really like that. I I love and that's when the evil eye is on you. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. And you know, if you're even feeling just a little bit off, yeah, it really. really What is it like? Like you do it, and then once you you can't hear it. Well, I don't necessarily like know that. So you have my little hole on my hands. Oh, well, that's course, smart. That's my body. But the egg I have my really hand takes here. it. Like you mm-hmm. ask the egg to take the energy. <laughs> yeah. And then when you crack it, there it's very different every time. And you can see the specifics of what you can look up what it all means. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm not laughing at you. But you know what I love about you, Melissa? <laughs> It's just science. You know what I mean? It's like, don't. She's doing her somatic therapy. (laughs) She's got her egg cleanses. Remember that time when you were like, we should do a spell. Remember we did that spell where we (laughs) burn things and we put them in a bowl because you want to do a spell. (laughs) What? The bay leaves? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> whatever I whatever you. i mean no, yeah i love it I don't, I this is the only place this? i talk about it too like because i feel like there's this you know not cute like white girl witchy stuff going yeah, 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 on yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. i mean yeah, i really I don't i'm not saying. in that but you know what Marissa, by any you means. are what are you a quarter half a lebanese i am lebanese and nobody's yeah. talking about okay. it mm-hmm. yeah and no but i'm not i'm not claiming you know to be <laughs> not an absolute <laughs> annoying white girl, yeah. but mm-hmm. I do have a little. But you you're know, one spice. of three sisters, which feels witchy. It does. And the my mother. mom, middle of five. Oh my god, sisters, all so sisters. Crazy. Yes. Just, oh my yeah, god. Really nice. I keep telling her you That's have to like, write a joke about being a witch. I do have a joke about it. It's not about me being. Yeah, I. You I come have a from joke. a family of witches. I find that very like. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's sisters, coming. sisters, sisters. Like mm-hmm. if my sister had daughters and not a daughter and a son, I'd be like, <gasps> yeah, <"Mahina." laughs> right, right. But no, it, it's crazy. It's really crazy. And then my dad's side is all guys. But that Whoa. grandma is four sisters and they are true, 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 true witches in wow. a major way. Like a lot of dreams. My my grandpa comes for my grandma all the time and she's like, not yet. And like, it's Love that. psycho. Oh my Her God. Her sister has come and done some uh, financial advice. What? Insider trading. <laughs> that- <laughs> um, told her to buy and sell stocks. Oh which my has God. been beneficial. What? Yeah, it's really nuts. <laughs> and she- That's crazy. Yeah, she had a recent experience that, I don't know, it feels disrespectful to go into details, but it was, I truly think that um, the veil is quite thin oh, right now yeah. for my Lebanese grandma. Oh yeah. my God. Yeah, just, to do, just, you know, 
She's really experiencing a lot. Yeah. That's crazy. I know. To the, yeah. The, whatever. Is, yeah. Is, he, are, is your dad full Lebanese or half Lebanese? He's half. He's half. So you're a quarter mm, Lebanese. Quarter Lebanese. Yeah. yeah. That's in your, that's, that's in you. That's in you. That's a substantial amount of Lebanese. Yeah. No, she's very, she's very Lebanese. She was, I think she was born, first sisters born in Lebanon. I think my great grandma was pregnant with my grandma to come here. So. Mm. Wow. Mm. Yeah. That's well, nuts. Mm. Yeah. My, my mom always says my great grandmother was a witch. She like, she was a, a midwife or doula, I guess, but mm. she just like helped all the the village women give birth mm -hmm. and she like birthed like hundreds of babies and none of them died. Ugh. Like all of them. And she said she like watched, um, <laughs> she was like, she was like peeking through a hole and watching this woman give birth, but the birth was breached. And she was like, and then I like, she like watched my, my, my great grandmother, like put a bunch of like oil on her hand and like did a bunch of shit and like stuck her hand up her and turned the baby around. Mm -hmm. That's and the baby was do. born. But my mom was like, and then, that baby turned out to be a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! But, so, but she lived. I love your mom. She sounds like so. She sounds she amazing. Love yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, we'd love to have her on the pod. Oh yeah. I want so everyone's mom on the pod. Oh, I yeah. really want to be a doula. You know, Jen really Keith, whose wedding I just went to this past weekend. Yeah. If her mother ever comes to New York, we're having her on the pod. Great. Mm. Can't wait. I, I'm. I'm. I also want to have, have a doula. Whether it's your mother or oh, someone else, you should I have think a doula. Would be your mother's amazing. not a doula. Her grandma was a doula. Well, yeah, I would love to have grandma on the pod. She's dead. Oh. Okay, she's dead. Well, <laughs> rest in peace. Another doula. Yeah, that, that is going to be fascinating. I think yeah. that's one of we the most powerful doula? professions you can have. Absolutely, Are you I want a doula know. and I want a therapist. Yeah, and yeah. I'm gonna, yeah. Can we ask my therapist Akua? Yeah, not to therapize us, but just come in and be a therapist. Absolutely, she's like around our age, and she's so cool. Wow. I'm gonna email her back. Great. I'm gonna be like, Akua, please come do the podcast. That would yeah. be fun. I, I would want to know like she's what everyone's cool. affliction is. Like, I do too. Yeah, yeah. What do you mean? I mean, we're pretty obvious. About or just ours. like she's like, well, I guess she can't talk about her clients, but she's just no, like, it she, seems she like everyone's worried about, about this. It is yeah. dicey for a therapist to come. She on did tell me that every one time. She did tell me that everybody was worried about money, and they're all. She's like, a lot of my clients are talking about sex work and wow. Wow. to get money. Interesting. I mean, the I one who told you that was, she that you would not make money doing foot stuff. No, she told me <laughs> that I wouldn't therapist. make money at an OnlyFans, but that I might make money doing foot stuff. Oh, did you that show her rude. your feet? No, I said I don't have nice feet. And she was like, "There's, you know, people like different kinds of feet." I guess there, I guess face, no feet. Yes. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you know yeah. what? Oh, there my. was a a good comment. I don't know which of our. I think it was your feet were out for this specific podcast, and somebody. um wrote in another language i did google translate and it was beautiful feet <laughs> no fucking wow yeah, i'll send it to you no I, mean, I can't believe i didn't tell way. you this because i was really like nice. i have to tell no her. i don't i you hate my feet i will i have my Why? father's feet yeah you have what size five yeah they look small well Take i just like i have oh my Let god no. Feet. No, 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 no 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 this is exposure therapy this is exposure therapy Oh Let god. me see. Okay, I, I can already tell they're cute. Why oh my god, that? beautiful! I know, but they're shapely. That's so cute. No, <laughs> no, those are not really flat. cute. We, let me tell you something. Los Inditas have, have flat, flat feet. feet. Yeah, she's got flat and feet. And I got flat feet, <laughs> big time. Those are, I can honestly say, unbiasedly, very cute feet. Oh my god, I think thanks. those are You're nice welcome. feet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, thank Not you. Not that you have to I'm monetize to show you my them, foot. but you could. I'm like very show tempted to show you my foot. Yeah. Show your foot. <laughs> it's really ugly. Like, oh my god, don't say. Wait, that. that's cute. Look at it; it's flat. <laughs> <laughs> but the toes are so. My sweet. sister calls them my flippers because they're so <laughs> flippers. Yeah, is like, the little the rudest older sister thing you can she's say. Like, okay, we haven't talked about flipper. birth order too much. I think we should end up birth order. Oh now yeah, we have the flippers out. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Who's, which one's the meanest sister? Oldest? Oh, my youngest sister's youngest. Meanest. Ooh, okay. And that's not usual. I feel like younger sisters are angels. No, they can, mm -hmm. they can do it. I'm they an can angel. definitely do it. Maria Jose is so mean. She is so, so How mean. How old is she? She is 20. She's 27. Oh, she's okay. fun. Yeah, she's fun. She's really beautiful and uh, has like huge eyes mm -hmm. and. Uh, a lot of tattoos and she's the one who works in rehab mm, yeah. <laughs> and she's just like so mean. And when like, she's like really unapproachable and scary and beautiful. What's the shadiest thing she's ever said that. to you? Oh my God. Oh my God. I mean, <laughs> give me one good one. It's like every day. Sister shade is good. It's shade. like every, she's always like, 
I mean, she'll like lovingly do my makeup because she'll be like, you look like shit, you know, <laughs> or like when we've gotten into fights, it's awful. It's like yeah. my boyfriend was like, I felt like I was on the Jersey Shore. <laughs> Like, cause she was like, ah! like, she just like goes deep. Mm -hmm, she like yeah. cuts. I can't even, I don't even, I feel like mm -hmm. my drama from it is like, I'm blacking it out. Like mm -hmm, I can't, totally. but she's a very mean Latina woman who loves herself a Ben Affleck kind of guy. I was just yeah. going to ask because she sounds like she loves herself exactly. a Ben Affleck kind of guy. <laughs> yeah. You know, one of my favorite shades for my sister besides the flippers is, um, she goes, she's like, shut up, Carolina. And that's why you don't have a neck. Oh. She was like, you look like a little Guatemalan with your squat little neck. Oh, my God. Mind you, she's also Guatemalan. <laughs> oh, okay. she's just tall because my on my father's side, they're tall. <laughs> but I love when you call. Ken Can I say what you said? Kendra was like playing sports. I don't want to air your like a T-Rex. No, she's just, oh, I also Kendra was just so doofy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she was flopping around all doofy, which I thought was a really well, funny. Kendra not as funny. good as the neck. Kendra it's used to not do as competitive good as walking. <laughs> My sister was a competitive walker. Have you seen? You know what that looks like? It looks like this. It's like you, you have to. You, like, can't, you can't bend your legs or whatever. You can't yeah. Bend your legs, so you're just like. <laughs> it is silly. It is I mean, silly. She's tall. This was my uncle's track team that he forced us all to be on. Oh my god, I was <laughs> deep throated. This microphone. Take yourself out. She's tall. He thought she would be good at the um fucking. Hurdles. That's when she <laughs> was like, the doofiest. <laughs> she went and tried to do the hurdles. It's like a, was falling all over the place. Is she older then, or younger? Older. Oh and my so God. that's when she became the professional. <laughs> They're like, why don't you stay on the ground and walk? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but Keep it was straight. so funny. <laughs> oh my God. Like, girl. I, and that's why I'm like, you kind of come for my neck, literally. Yeah. But you <laughs> over here competitive walking <laughs> with, with your dignity intact. <laughs> No shit. Yeah. 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 My sister will be like rude to my mom. Like oh, it's yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like yeah, the well, she's also the youngest, so she gets to act like a white teen, you know? Mm -hmm. So like me and my older sister got like the brunt of it and now she just like doesn't fear God. She runs it, yeah. Yeah. But she'll be like, Yeah, mom and her man hands. Ah! <laughs> and mom will be like, Oh my God. <laughs> what? <laughs> It's <laughs> su manos grande. Yeah. That's what I said. Um, the, the youngest, truly, I don't know, like my mom and youngest sister, I feel like had like such a different relationship mm -hmm. where it just it was almost romantic. Like I was like, the More fuck friends. is this? Where More have friends. I seen this? And it's so annoying. But I, I'm sure there comes a pressure with it that she's diffusing with the man hands comment, which I oh, respect. Yeah. Which yeah. I love. No, totally. Yeah, it's I feel like. Like, ran, like, she's the one who's going to, like, take care of my mom, like, right. as we get so older. So she's already pissed about it. Yeah, she's yeah. already pissed yeah. about it. She's like, well, I'm the only one who's here. Mm. Oh, she's you know, lives in Boston. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm dealing with that a bit mm -hmm. in my family as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 I mean, I went to the doctor with my mom yesterday. Oh, wow. Maybe you're... you're Good for yeah. You. No, you do... She does a lot. I do family. a lot with my parents. Mm -hmm. And I think that I will also be the one that's going to, like, take care of them. You will. Right. But I also know that, like, I'm going to run it like a tight ship. Uh -huh. <laughs> and that is what I always threaten them with. I'm yeah. like, you want to fucking play with me, but when uh -huh. I'm your conservator, when I'm in charge of you, I'm going to fucking keep you... <laughs> You on a leash, biatch. <laughs> Both of them. I said, yeah. I told my dad, I said, let me get in charge of you. You're going on a fucking diet. No, uh -huh. I feel like you're, you're going to put them on like one of those year long cruises. So it's just like have fun. No, no, no. I, I like hanging out with my solution. parents. I don't want them to be gone for too long. I like to be with them. I was with them That's yesterday true. having a great time. But I, and then my mother, I was like, I'm going to dose you with weed. I'm going to put tinctures oh, yeah. of THC in your tea, honey. I don't think she won't. You're going to mm -hmm. fucking relax. We always bitch. talk about dosing my mom with weed without her knowing. I haven't she done it needs to her. it. She I needs they it. Need it. I think so my mom would have a panic attack. She's always like, attack. I have chest pain. No, you got to put a lot so she yeah. Well, you know my sensitivity to edible weed. I can only assume my mother, that's from her. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's from my dad, who's pretty chill. Yeah. I think she would like have a panic attack. I think CBD. So take, you get the CBD tincture. Do it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Allegedly. Allegedly. No, I'm going to do like it. Gonna I'm going to do this. it. I finally convinced her to do the CBD. But if she wasn't going to do it, I was going to have to find a way to do it to her. Yeah. And so well, we got to find her one without coconut, coconut oil in it. Yeah. <laughs> it made her really sick. OK, we have to go. Sick. OK, yeah, okay. That's true. Wait, let's promote. The books. The books. The Instagram. And everything. Oh, yeah. The podcast. Um, okay. The podcast. You can follow me everywhere except for in real life at E-L-L-O Melissa. L-O Melissa. 
Uh, my book is called Candelaria and Dreaming of You. You can get it everywhere books are sold. You can listen to me read them on uh, whatever audiobook streaming service. What's and the most beneficial to you financially? Is yeah. it Audible? Oh, um, or does it matter? It doesn't matter. It doesn't okay, matter. Cool. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. Whatever. You're going to get okay, coin anyway. I, You're going to get a little. Yeah. yeah. You can listen yeah. to me. Okay, great. Yeah. <laughs> but like not Amazon, right? Don't do it on Amazon. Amazon. Morally. Sure. Support your local indie if you can. Yeah. Uh, but you get paid. Um, yeah. But, but I get if paid. they do yeah. buy it from Amazon, you're going to get paid. Yes. <laughs> So really, just, that's what counts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to cover your bases for <laughs> thank you. you. Thank you, yeah. thank, you thank, thank you. Because I want you no, to we just want you yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and my podcast is called Say More. We're on Spotify too. Okay, oh, yeah. I have a really quick question before we leave. Yeah. If you and Miguel get married, can I come to the wedding? Yes. Okay, yes, you can. Two, plus mm-hmm. one. Yeah. Come, yeah. Okay, come. Great. Yeah. There'll be karaoke. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's a really good wedding day. I went to a wedding where there's karaoke at the after party and it was really that's fun. fun it's the yeah. best activity i just went to one where there was bowling at the after party which well that's cute. my nightmare oh. but i was a little too fucked up to bowl i feel like we're like oh like I yeah people were having a great time but yeah. i was like mm, i'm too fucked no. up no <laughs> never mm. bowl never bowl ever no melissa thank you so much for coming thank you for having me this is so, so much fun. Melissa, this is so much fun thank you. we loved having you love, love being you. here love y'all yeah thank you all right cotton we done 